the, the difference, of course, is t that I was actually casting people who are, were real people. For example, Peeps was one of the first people that we cast. And although I had a picture of Peeps on my computer, it was more important that the person who played Peeps could deal with the dialogue and deal with the language. That at two hours warning, I sent my father and my wife into the country by the coach this day with about 1,300 pounds in gold in their night bag. Pray God give them good passage. So we're going to get really good actors, but who also look like William or Charles II or Peeps. The fact that they could speak the language was more important, ultimately, than the fact that they looked like a portrait. I went to a drama school that sort of trained for the theatre, and they did a grounding in restoration, comedy and dramas, um, Jacobean um, drama and uh, Shakespeare. But techniques to get your head around the language and get your breath around the language and things like that. So that's how, sort of like my formal training. Odds fish, I am an ugly fellow. Oh, no, your majesty. It is just Riley's irregular palsy. As he recovers, so will your portrait. <laughs> Falmouth, I very believe thou art the wickedest dog in all England. For a subject, your majesty, I believe I am. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch accent. Well, what I do remember was quite funny was that just before we made the film, there was this big news story about Stephen M Steve McLaren is now coaching a Dutch team. He's completely English, as English as you get, you know, kind of every man. Um, but he was in Holland and he uh, delivered one of his interviews with the Dutch media in this horribly phony Dutch accent. And it was hilarious. It went. It was a kind of YouTube hit. Uh, when I came here and uh, Champions League. Uh, Liverpool or Arsenal, I thought maybe one of them we would draw and uh, it is Arsenal, I think. One of the, the toughest teams in the draw and I think it will be uh, very, very difficult for our players, but also a great experience. That, that had just come out when we were about to do this and so um, when I knew I had to learn Dutch accent, all I could hear unfortunately was this was was how to do it in kind of extreme but I was fortunate enough to have um, one of the one of my co um, cast was Dutch is Dutch and Robert and we spent some time he was very helpful we spent some time um, on the kind of couple of nights previous to our shooting working through it um, and I mean I remember him saying to me that there is a difference of course between the modern Dutch accent and the Dutch accent of the time. So, you know, I, I gave it a shot. I, mean, I think that's the bottom line. I gave it a shot, and I think that's what you do when it comes to accents. Ebertson, Charles, my uncle, speaks of you with affection. He calls you Kays the Devil. He was gracious to me just before the last war released me after capture because our family was kind to him during his exile. Ebertson, we need you with the Reuter again this season, but when it ends, you will have a special commission to seize the English East Indies convoy as it returns. Where? Near their base at St. Helena on the South Atlantic. And if I miss there? Go west to America and do what damage you can.